Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be revisiting a video of a home in the beautiful town of Gulionesi in Molise. This home requires renovations, however, since the moment we walked in, we realized that it had so much potential. A few of you have contacted us about this property, and if you're on the fence about it, you would love to know that the price has been reduced. So initially it was 50,000 euros, and currently it's 40,000 euros. We really hope that you enjoyed this video and let us know what ideas you have for this home and any other thoughts you may have in the comment section. Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. We're back in beautiful Guldionesi in Molise. Googles. We call it Googles. We, call it Googles. <laughs> we are sitting on a bench in the beautiful park of Guldionesi. Taking sun like our friend here. Like him. Like our new friend. Today, guys, we've got a, an amazing little house. It looks quite small just from the from the front, but it's it's a it's a good size, about 185 square meters. I've calculated. They want 50,000 euros. Of course, it needs work, so you're gonna have to put some money into it. But from what I can see, you could you could make it three apartments. You know, yeah. you, two two little self-contained one and one bigger one that maybe you want to live in or you could just have three rentals or you can have a one big house all to yourself all to yourself <laughs> a great little house uh, in the historical center of Gulinesi with amazing um, character features like, like vaulted ceilings and vaulted um, ceiling beautiful arches on the doors beautiful flooring uh, one area has the original pavement like the original flooring mm. i think if you have some imagination you're going to find this house very interesting yeah very nice house Gulionesi is a stunning town in the region of Molise with a population of over 5,000 people and an altitude of 369 meters above sea level. Its history dates back to 435 BC. And as you walk around the historical center, you can admire its gorgeous stone buildings and cobblestone streets. You can walk around for hours as you visit its seven churches, admire the fantastic landscape from any of its lookouts, or just hang at a local restaurant or cafe with the locals. The position of Gulionesi is fantastic for those who prefer to be close to the sea, as the beaches of Termoli are only a short 15-minute drive, while still living in a place with a tight-knit community. For further information, including our finder's fee for this property, please contact us via our website. Okay, guys, so we're going to be looking at this home here, right in the middle of the historical center of Gulionesi. Gorgeous historical center. Right now it's a little bit overcast. We're in the middle of winter and the temperature is about 10 degrees right now. So we have a portion of the house here and a second portion of the house over there. We're trying to open this door here to see this part of the house, but it's proven to be too difficult, unfortunately. So hopefully, oh, look at that porthole, that's beautiful. So hopefully we can make sense of it some all the way we're really looking forward to go up there but as you notice we just turned into a laneway where the other portion of the house here so you have that entrance that goes all the way over there and it's also part of the house and then we have a second part with a second entrance which is part of the whole property and it's sold as one as well. So we were lucky enough that we were able to open the two doors that are part of this side 
of the structure and we're going to check it out. This one here is another door to go into that house, but again, we're having issues with this door. Okay, let's start with this portion of the house. Beautiful, beautiful arch around the door. And we have these two doors that connect through the inside. It will make... As we enter here, we have probably what they used previously as a cantina or a kitchen with beautiful vaulted ceilings. And this room is a really nice size. I'm sure Aiden will give us the measurements in a minute. We have a fireplace, a gorgeous arch, and then a window right there. So I'm pretty sure that if you change those doors to wood and glass, we'll get a lot more light. Plus remember, it's winter and it's overcast. So that's why we don't get a lot of light right now. If we turn around over here, we're going to see the connection for the water. Then over here, we have an area that previously was used as a toilet, as we can see. So by the looks of it, we have drainage and water coming into this area and you still have the vaulted ceilings there. It's large enough for a shower, sink and toilet and maybe a little bit of storage as well. If we turn around over here, this is where these two areas connect. But so that it all makes sense, I'm going to go through not using this entrance, but the main entrance on the outside. Huh, it looks like they could open. Aiden, is that you? Going. I can hear the log going around. You guys went in. Ah, bravo! Bravo, bravo. Okay, let me see. Hey, cool. Yeah. Huh, well done, you guys. How exciting. Now, in the meantime, while they finish opening up, let's have a look at this portion here. Super cute. Super cute. The front of the front of this house is very cute. <laughs> it's beautiful. Awesome. A lot of potential. We got a short report from Aiden there saying that it's super cute and that it has a lot of potential. Now, as we go in, we have a set of stairs. Remember that kitcheny area, cantina part. The stairs are really comfortable. They look in very good condition. I'll turn around so that you can see that. Beautiful arch there and vaulted ceilings again. We come here to another, guess what? Kitchen area. They love their kitchens, don't they? <laughs> okay, we have a sink here, not sure where the connections for gas would have been. Probably this house has never had gas. So if you want to use a bombola, which is a bottle, a gas bottle or electricity or try to get connected the gas, which I'm pretty sure is already in this area. I don't think that will be too difficult. Maybe there'll be a little bit of waiting, but price-wise, we've done it in our own house and it wasn't too bad. A fireplace. So besides having a fireplace and the washing area over here, we have a small area where at some point they had a washing machine. So you could have some laundry and storage over here. 
again gorgeous vaulted ceilings and a window that faces the front of the house you are going to want to change the windows here to double glazed or triple glazed when you start doing some work but this is going to look so cute when you do that okay let's continue upstairs don't mind the lara we're not going to use that we continue over here and the stairs are very comfortable as well here and we come over here and we can see a bathroom ah, nice size this sink is huge and it's taking a lot of space so you could reposition quite a few things here change the tiles If you want to go to another area, which I'm not sure if it's the attic or another room, we use those stairs and go up there. Aiden has been there a minute ago, so right now we'll put the footage of what he saw. We could put a bathroom up here. Well, Okay, that was cool. Now we have another area here, most likely a room, a bedroom, since you have the bathroom on this side. And the window facing the front. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. From only $3.50 a month, you can help us continue to bring you the content you love. I will share the link in the description section of this video. Grazie mille! Okay, we continue down here. Okay, finito. Questo. All right, and now what we'll do is enter on um, through this door to see the rest of the house. Does it connect with the front of the house over there? Uh, it does, but it's a little bit precarious. Okay. So it, it's just a small space. So does it only connect through this bottom and not the top? Yes, just through the bottom. Okay. All right. So maybe so we just check from here. here. Yeah. Maybe we just check a little bit from yeah, here. Okay. So there's a bit of a step here. Ah, okay. I understand. So do we have a door there? Yeah. yeah. We have a little door here and those windows over there, which connect to this area over there. And there is a bathroom and it seems like an unfinished area on the bottom. I'm just gonna bend a little here. So is that where the front door is? If you if you open the front door, is that the room that you'll find? This room. Down the at the front. Oh yeah, there's two rooms. One, two rooms. Okay. Yeah. And this is the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, let's continue over here so that I make sense of the whole thing. Ah, ah, look, so you have your entrance, you have a kitchen already here. Yeah. Maybe you could connect to next door through here. And of course, when we make comments like these, it's not because we're experts. We're just touching walls like, <laughs> like kindergarten kids. You will get a geometer, an architect, etc., to assess that. It goes without saying. Yeah. Nothing like a range hood to let you know that the kitchen is there. Vaulted ceilings, Vaulted ceilings super high. Again, in this room, in this small room, it's about 12 square meters. 
high ceilings and bulky ceilings, and a window. Huh, the floor is nice. Yeah, the floor is a little bit uh, something thrown on there. The yeah, maybe it needs to be relayed or something. Window at the front. Ah, there's more light here than I thought. Look. Yeah. yeah. What? This is so nice. This is this is what I expected actually. This is better than I expected. Okay, vaulted ceilings. Has Alessandro said anything about the state of the roof? No. Have no, we asked? No, okay. Yeah. Okay, look at the floor. It's funny because we say to Italians, ah, beautiful floor, and they usually go like, eh, eh. <laughs> and for us, it's like, ah, we get excited about the little things. And look at this one. I actually don't mind that it has three different types of, 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 of co color of flooring. No, Look, this is this is all. white, this is like Looking yellowish orangey, and orangey. Brown, orangey brown, yeah. And you know I'm not great at naming colors, so just um, this, call it what you will. <laughs> and then you have like a greeny and lighter area here. So maybe you can do some washing or um, um, you know, this, shining. Um, just just um, as a thought. Like this floor could be completely self-contained. Yeah. Okay, so you have the bedroom there. This can be a bathroom walk-in robe. Yeah. Okay, so enough space for the whole thing. And then here you have the From kitchen and living area here. Yeah, kitchen and dining. Kitchen, kitchen, living, dining, yeah. Mm. yeah. But, you know, basically one self-contained. Yeah. I, this is so cute. Cute. I, love this. I love the height, the height and the simplicity. Mm. You go upstairs, you have your kitchen, and as Aiden say, said, your bathroom and walking rope, and then your bedroom. Okay, and you're in the middle of the historical center, and then on top of that, you can develop the bottom, mm. and on top of that, you don't have far to go with the structure next door. To be able to have it as an income to yeah. rent it out for we holidays. Have this as one apartment, below as another apartment, their own entrances, and then the house next door can be your house or a third apartment. Yeah, and or if you need more space, you could investigate whether you'll be able to open up over there mm. and connect the top levels of this house. And at the moment, the house is being sold. The whole structure, including the house next door, is being sold for 50,000 euros. Yeah. And Gullioness is, sorry, mm -hmm. Gullioness is the kind of place where you find uh, professionals and um, tradesmen to do the work that you need. So 15 minutes to the beach. I haven't said that yet. Anyway, are we going to check out the bottom? Yeah, of course. So we put that through here, we'll just go through the front. Yeah, let's go through the Maybe front just, so that it makes sense. Just show where it is. Yeah. So you guys, we're going to access this area, but through the front of the house. If you're still watching this video, it seems to me that you're pretty serious about purchasing a home in Italy. If you're ever in need of expert, independent legal advice and support at any stage of your property purchase process, we will be more than happy to refer you to a fantastic group of professionals we have been collaborating with. Just send us an email to rossiniandco at gmail.com. That's Rossini with two N's. Now we're walking through the laneway and coming to the wider street. You're only a few walks, you're only a few minutes walk from bars and restaurants and cafes. 
okay that's the bedroom that we saw before look 2011 Woo. no <laughs> you're dreaming ah look at the floor original flooring beautiful arch and vaulted ceiling that's one of the windows from the side of the laneway that we looked at and then we have oh this area look at that there's a lot of uh, sausages hanging there another two windows just be careful of the the ah okay two windows there to the side which we saw from outside and then the funky bathroom that we saw before as we were over there on the other side so that's the bathroom but there's an under the stairs where you could probably make a shower there yeah right under the stairs so you can close it off mm, close it off so when what do you think when they when they have those things i think that's as white as the i have the shelves wall. Ah, ah, that's right. They use it for shelves. Okay, Ooh, this is uh, really interesting. Let's go back to the front. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much to our patrons for their generosity, your extra support is really appreciated. If you would like to enjoy more of our personal and everyday content, be sure to check out my personal channel. We have a lot more content for you to enjoy. If you would like to continue watching other home tours, please click here. If you would like to watch the videos of our own purchase and renovation story, click here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!